Hello students, in this lesson, let us solve the problem number four of this chapter, wherein we will do the calculation for the effective gradient of runway. So the question says the longitudinal cross section of the runway provides the following data. So what data is given end to end of runway in meters is given and the gradient. So percentage in terms of percentage the gradient from this to this end of the runway 1% from this to this minus 1 like that the percentage gradient is given. So what we have to calculate we have to calculate the effective gradient of the runway. So the process of doing it is first we will have to write the changes. So like so zero is the starting change, right? Zero, then it is 200, then it is 600, then it is one two double zero. Then the final one is one six double zero. Next we have to start writing the elevation. Right now for zero change, let us choose an elevation equal to hundred point one. Okay. Now for 200, what will it be? See if you observe from two, 0 to 200, it is plus 1% of the gradient. So for the previous elevation, that is for 100.0, we have to add 1%. That is 1% is nothing but 1 by 100 of your 200. 200 is this value. Understood? So this will give you a value equal to 1 or 2.0. Zero. Similarly, on the next lane, so for 102.0, this is minus negative gradient, so minus 1 by 100 of 400. Now, this particular thing is very important. So, how we do we get this is very important. This will be your 200 minus 0, right? So, what will this be? This will be your 600 minus 200, okay? So, basically, the difference. So that will give you 98.0. So the next will be this we have to take 98.0. The gradient is plus here gradient percentage right plus 0 0.8 of 100 into 600. So how will you get this 600? This 1200 minus this 600. Okay. So you will get a value equal to 102.8. And similarly the last one will be 102.8 plus gradient is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 by 100 into the difference the difference between this and this so how much is it 400 so this will give you a value equal to 103.6 now in this the maximum difference in elevation will be the highest minus lowest rl or the elevation so how much is highest highest is this right and this one is the lowest so this will be equal to 103.6 minus 98.0 which is 5.6 meter now the total runway length will be what see end to end of runway he is saying so this means this is the start of the runway and this is the end of the runway so the total length of the runway according to this will be equal to how much 1600 meters so total length of runway is equal to 1600 meters so what is he asking us to find the effective gradient of the runway so effective gradient will be equal to this difference in the highest and lowest that is 1.6 by the total runway length into 100 so this will give a value equal to 0 0.35 percent so this is your final answer hope you understood it thank you